Hello and welcome to this week's Oracle Card Guidance. So we have three options this week. We have the option number one, which is the number one on this dice. We have the option three, which is the uh, three on this dice. And we have the option number six, which is um, six on this dice. I just thought that you might be tired of one, two and three. And so we, I thought we'd try something a little bit different. Just so one, three and six this time around. Go ahead, make your selection and you can go down to the timestamp below where you'll be able to go directly to your reading. OK, have a good one. So for those of you who've chosen the first option, which is number one on this dice, I'm just going to spread the cards out and feel which is the right option for you. And so we have the option, the unicorn, good fortune and friendship. And I'm just going to clear away these cards and do the reading. So we have the card, the unicorn, and the message is good fortune and friendship. And so I think right now what this card is talking about is actually being able to move in a direction that you want to be moving in. And to be able to use the help that you can get from people around you, so support that you get from people around you. And it's almost as if the only way in which you're going to be able to really enjoy moving forward is by um, by having the support, by allowing people to help you, by allowing um, friendship to support you in your path. So if you've been actively um, putting pushing away people or you've been... Um, trying to do things alone, trying to do things all just by yourself. I feel here that this card is telling you that mm, it's not going to be such a bad idea to be able to allow um, people to help you as you go along. I feel like there's somebody here who's got these amazing wishes that some people may deem to be unrealistic. And um, yeah, you might be in a, at a phase in your life or at a time in your life where you want to do things which others um, see as impossible or unrealistic or not wise choices and having poor judgment, etc. And it's this card is talking about believing in yourself and going forth regardless. And what you will be rewarded with would be good fortune and friendship. It's also talking about if you choose a path that is meant for you, if you choose a path that is for you. Um, that is the right one for you and you allow yourself to follow your dreams you allow yourself to take the plunge and and go ahead and be ambitious in this regard then what's going to happen is that you're going to find yourself in a good space and it will be you'll be surrounded by like-minded people or people who are there to support you you'll be you'll have your community so I feel there's something very much here linked to your luck and your and your community and how you are able to make it happen but the key to that is to be to believe in that which um, you want to really believe in yourself, regardless of what others think of it and regardless of how others perceive you as a result of the decisions that you're making in your life and the course that the path that you've chosen. I also think here that if you've been doing things in a way that some may seem to be a little bit um, aggressive or a little bit um, rash, um, uh, like you're running roughshod around people and that this is actually it's not such a bad thing okay well generally speaking one may deem that a bad thing but in this case it's almost like it's part of your nature to be to be to react in this way at this point because of what you're facing so if you are judging yourself for doing that uh, you don't need to do that it's actually okay there's something else here as well which talks about a kind of fiery um strength that you have that you don't always recognize it's almost as if it's something that's behind you uh, that you've had in your life or that you were aware of in your past but that you've forgotten you've forgotten how strong you are and how amazing you are and how you can actually go ahead and make this happen and so I feel like here there's that power that you have around you and that is part of you it's part of who you are nothing can separate it from who you are this is who you will be and how you'll always be. And you just need to allow that to lead you, allow that to push you along. And it's almost like that is something that's 
uh, guiding you as well. It's not just pushing you along and helping you and supporting you. It's also guiding you. So allow yourself to be guided by that inner strength that you have, that strength that's always been yours, that strength that's actually innate to you. And also there's this magical element here of actually taking a chance and making things happen and allowing things to, to happen for you. And uh, it's... Um, it's all, almost like, you know, daring to make it happen. I dare to make this happen. And it might be seen that what you're trying to do is not really going to work out for you. It's almost like, you know, that it might look like that. OK, it might look like it's not going to be possible to do what you want to do. But I can assure you that this card is a signal that go ahead, do what you need to do and take that wild step. Do the thing that they expect you not to do. Or that they think is um, unreasonable and what's going to come out of this is that you are going to uh, it's going to award you with a good fortune and a community uh, friendship and love even and it might not be love in the romantic sen and sense uh, but it would be love that is long lasting and a kind of a, a long lasting friendship so I would say go ahead and, and do what you need to do. You have the support, you have the strength within you and you also have a magical element at play. And if it means that you need to be a little bit rough as you go along, if you need to like push something aside in order to make space for something new, then be let it be and, and and go ahead and do that okay so that's my message for you for this week i hope that resonates i hope that helps you as you go along in your week and i wish you a fabulous week uh, okay so many many blessings to you all bye for now so for those of you who've chosen the option number three here um i'm going to spread the cards out and we're going to see what we have here today Just going to feel my way through to see what is your card. Um, so I'm kind of pulled, I'm kind of pulled back this way, and it feels like your card is somewhere here, like this one. And we have the siren, and it re, re it leads, sorry, it reads, a temptation may lead you astray. So we have the card, the siren, it's for your, the option that's number three, and it says a temptation may lead you astray. So that feels to me like, um, like it could be, yes, that's something that's tempting you, but it could also be that um, you get distracted by something. Or it could also mean that you are in a pattern, a routine, where you fall into a certain way of doing things. And that leads you astray. And so it's necessary for you to eliminate the siren within you. It's necessary to eliminate that part of you, which actually works to sabotage yourself ultimately. Um, now, why would you be doing that? Well, it's not usually to sabotage yourself. So the intention is not to sabotage yourself. But really what happens is that one forms comfort zones in a particular area of one's life. And um, one one does this wrong really to be able to overcome something to be able to be able to uh, work with something it's almost as if it's a self it's a self defense mechanism that you're working with and so what happens is that it would, what what can happen is that you tend to do things in a certain way um, because at that moment you're feeling wounded or you're feeling broken and then it becomes a comfortable way of doing things and then you continue to do those things. But so even when you are not wounded, even when you're not um, um, broken in any way, even when you're well, you can continue to do the same thing because it's a routine, it's a habit, it's something that felt right and your brain has, has registered that as being a comfortable modus operandi. And so what this card is saying to me is that you need to be aware of where it is that you're letting yourself down by falling into old habits or falling into habits that have previously served you, but are not necessarily serving you any longer. Um, I feel here that, you know, you could go, it could also um, refer to addiction. It could also refer to uh, taking a path, which is the easier path. Uh, or fooling yourself, telling yourself, ah, yes, you know, one one cigarette's going to be okay, or or one um, shot is going to be okay, and then doing it all over again, or just saying, oh yes, one night there is going to be fine, and 
But then what happens is that you find that you fall into a comfort zone and it's difficult to extract yourself from that. And um, it's going to be much easier for you not to choose to do that. So the the message here is to, to choose to be harder or more disciplined with yourself now um, rather than later, because later it's going to be more difficult. And I feel that that's the crux of this message here. It says, take harder action now or do something that you find frightfully difficult now uh, or that's really hard for you to do, but do it now. Because if you leave it for later, then it's going to be much more difficult later on to be able to remove that or to be able to uh, extract yourself from that um, type of addiction or, or a temptation or some way in which you, you're actually going to be doing something regularly that's going to be working against you. So I would say that your advice for this week is to actually look at uh, what is, where is it that you have this temptation? Where is it that you are the siren to yourself? And where is it that, you know, you could be, um, you could be um, tempting yourself with something. And because it's easier, it's easier for you to go along. Now, you know, when I'm, while I'm saying this, I also feel that um, there's, su there's it's such a difficult space for people to be in when they actually have chosen a certain path that feeds them in a certain way that causes them com or that brings them comfort that it's difficult to be to be able to extract yourself from that to be it's difficult to really remove yourself from that so i feel here you need to provide yourself with enough support and with enough kind of um resources to be able to extract yourself from a particular situation that's not really working for you on a situation that or um, a habit um, or a person or a, a kind of um, dynamic that's working that will work for, against you in the long term so right now it might look rosy it might look really good but in the long time it will be to your detriment and so this is what this card is talking about so I feel like um, yes that might not sound like a very positive message for this week but I think for this week your time and energy is best used um, to weed out any temptation to weed out any um, habits that do not actually allow you to work uh, towards your goals or that do not actually support you in in reaching your goals and to to work uh, in that way as you as you move along and and you know there'll there will be benefits from this obviously because what you'll find is that when you're no longer drawn to that thing um, that you need to weed out of your life, when you're no longer drawn into that comfort space, then you're going to find that you have more oxygen, actually. You're going to find that you're able to breathe better. You're going to find that you're able to see life differently. You're going to understand the world a bit differently. It's like the birds are chirping and the sun is shining and you feel the warmth in your skin. And there's something wonderful about that. It's like you're coming out of some kind of prison almost and you're going to have a lot more freedom a lot more joy and um, much more um, yeah much more strength much more energy actually it's not so much about strength but more energy to be able to do what you need to do so I would say go ahead and look at where it is that you need to weed out something or change a way of behavior or observe your a pattern of behavior that's um, perhaps detrimental to you all right so that's my advice for you for this week i hope that ha has been helpful let me know if it resonates or not um and uh wishing you a great week ahead stay safe stay healthy and many blessings to you all and for those of you who've chosen the option number six here which we have today on this dice and we are just going to spread out these cards here and i'm just going to feel my way through and see what it is that is that you that is drawn to you what is it that wants to come out for you today i may see an obvious one like this one and but i feel like it's not actually the card it feels like it's eager to come out but i feel that it's not actually what your message is sometimes um that is the case uh, i feel like this is something that's deeper here that wants to come out there's a message here that that this message is important but the one that's going to come out is more encompassing and and encompasses what's going to be in that message and it's going to be as important or if not more important and feels to me like this is the card so yes so we have the card the spirit and it says unseen forces watch over you 
Okay, so the card here that we have is the spirit and it says unseen forces watch over you. And what I want to say here is that there's definitely a pathway of happiness and joy and well-being that can be in your life and that can um, uh, be deepened in your life. Um, there's something here about allowing, allowing spirit, allowing the love, allowing divinity forces to step into your life and to work for you or to be able to encompass that into your life. And it's almost like saying, well, you know, what you need to be doing here is to call on unseen forces. So call on those, those, the ancestors, call on the helpers, call on the archangels, call on the angels, call on the guides, call on the gods and the deities and the, um, and all the goddesses and, and whoever it is that has made some kind of, um, impact in your life. So, so in some situations, it can be that you, uh, are calling upon something that inspires you, you know, like the, the runes, or th it doesn't have to be an idea or a person or some idea of a God. It could simply be something that inspires you, that you resonate with, something that gives you goose pimples, something that runs um, energy through you, you know, um, similar to that of um, a chill going down your spine. So um, it's not exactly a chill going down your spine, but something that warms you, in fact. So I want to say that um, when you get chills that go down your spine, it's it's more something of the ego. Uh, it's not really something of spirit. It's not really connection necessarily with spirit. So at that moment, you could be having connection with spirit, but your ego is actually reacting. And this is where you're getting the chills that go down your spine. But if you have something warm that's flowing in through you, this is more or less what is when a spirit is working. Now, of course, if you've got high blood pressure or something like that, and you're having uh, some kind of heart attack or something like this, um, that that is not um, necessarily the type of spirit that I'm talking about here. Um, but uh, that aside, it, what I'm talking about right now is actually a, um, a sense of being able to look at what it is and allow what it is that's there and willing to help you. So it's firstly, it's acknowledgement. So when I say look at, it's about acknowledging, it's about recognizing, it's about understanding the significance. It's about knowing that it's there. And then it's about allowing that being or, or helper or or energy, uh, let's say. So if it, you, you know, you're thinking about the runic photog, um, it's about allowing that energy to come through. If you're thinking about um, the Old Testament, it's about allowing that energy to come through If um, or any other scripture for that matter. So this card is talking about simply acknowledging firstly that the gods are, or the spirits or whatever you want to call it are there to assist you and that they can assist you, that they have the power to assist you and that they have a power upon, of, over your energy, that they do make a difference, okay, a positive difference and then calling upon them to do so, like asking for help. Now, I feel like that's an important aspect of this week's um, message for you that you need to call upon um, for help. You need to call upon help. So even if you just like close your eyes, and you can put your hands together and you just say, please come to my assistance or please help me. And even if you don't feel any connection at that moment or you don't feel anything at all, don't despair. You know, uh, you can do that again and again and again over several um, at several times. And what you're going to find is that you feel a connection and it becomes clearer to you. So um, for those of you who do feel a connection instantly, it's great. It means that you are more connected at that moment. Um, for some of you, we are always connected, right? So we always are connected in some way or the other. But for some of you, it might be that um, you're not able to feel your connection, maybe because of trauma, maybe because of difficulty, maybe because of hardships, uh, maybe because you're too busy. And so when you are not able to feel that connection, you forget that you, um, sorry for the sound, the background sounds, but um, you forget that there is, you know, this, the spirit, this force that's there and you can call upon for help with that. So if you're having a rough week or if you're having some difficulty in your life right now, then go ahead and call upon spirit to come in and help you. And you can use any name, as I've said, or you could just say, you know, I need help, please help me and, um, and allow that to come into your life and be open and observe how things change and how things uh, actually 
come up for you so that you can make the choices that are going to make your life better or alleviate the situation that you're in or just simply enhance your mood. Okay, this has been a theme for the last few months, uh, just energetically. But if you've been feeling like going back and uh, returning to a, a religion or a faith that you were exposed to as a kid, as a child, faith that you grew up with, if you feel the need to go back to that, to return to that, to find faith and wisdom and strength in within that, then this card is also talking about actually, yeah, uh, going ahead and doing that, not not being afraid to do that. And that might not actually resonate with you. You might not really feel that. You might think, oh, well, not really. I that's not I don't feel that at all. And I don't really want to do that. And um, or I just don't feel that anymore. I just I've grown past that in my life. And if you're feeling this way, then I would say um, if an opportunity arises for you to ask for help, if you need help, then think back um, to that what you believed when you were younger and ask for assistance from from that it, it you need not always believe in it you need not always um but what is important is for you to um need when you need the help uh, for you to be able to ask for it okay so that's a bit of a strange message i'm i'm not sure everyone here who's chosen this option needs help right now uh always asking for that but i feel that this is it was necessary to say this and to to put this across and also just to know well as the tech caption reads here that unseen forces uh, watch over you that there are forces that are there and watching over you there are there whether you believe it or not there's energy around us all the time in various different forms whether you can see it or not whether you can feel it or not and that is actually impacting us you know whether it's solar flares or the way the moon positions itself or any other entity for that matter you know so that is something that uh, you can either acknowledge it and work with it or you can choose to say well i don't believe in it and i'm not going to work with it but i feel that here this card is calling you to acknowledge something of that it's calling you to acknowledge something that you've already believed in or you already know the existence of all right. So good luck with that as you go along this week. Uh, I hope that makes sense to you. I hope that resonates with you. And I'm wishing you all very well. Uh, many, many blessings to you all and lots and lots of love to you. Um, stay safe, keep healthy and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.